let's get going. So, um, you know what this is, right? So this is Visual Studio. So when you're writing a program, this is what you use, okay? And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a very basic program, and I'm gonna show you what a program is all about, right? Computer program, right? So you understand what language is, right? Yeah. And how language works, right? So if you say something to me, I interpret it and I know what it means, and then I do what you say if I want to, right? Yeah. The same thing happens with um, with uh, computers, right? So you speak to them in a language that they understand, just like speaking Fran Spanish, just like speaking Japanese or whatever. The big difference between programming computers and programming human beings is something called context. Do you know what context is? Mm -hmm. So I'll give you an example of context, right? Um, if I say, what's up, what does that mean? asking them like how's it going like what are you doing right. so I, you use you use something else you use a bunch of things called colloquials and you said how's it going how's what going right um, right so, so it's like the context of a situation of a situation right and there's a lot of stuff associated with it and it changes all the time so languages have context computer languages don't they're context-free languages what that means is that if you say what's up to a, to a computer it'll okay. say the sky, the ceiling, <laughs> right? It'll always say that because it's taking what and up and it's just interpreting it. It's not putting any kind of fluidity to it, right? So so that's a, com a computer language, right? Now the same thing as a language, you know what a chair is, right? A chair is a chair, right? Yeah. Right? A table is a table, right? A house is a house, right? If I if I gave you a, a, a hundred dollar bill and I asked you to, where would you put your hundred dollar bill? If I gave it to you and I asked you to take care of it, and you were let's say on a trip somewhere, what would you do with it? Put it in my backpack. Put it in your backpack. Where else could you put it? My wallet. Your wallet, right? So those are places where you put things, right? So and you have things. Thing the thing is what, the hundred dollar bill. Yeah. Your wallet is a place to put it. Yeah. Right. Now, can you put a chair in your wallet? Um, no. Can you put a car in your wallet? No. Right, you can't. So certain things you put in certain places. You understand? So you put a, if it's a dollar, you can put it in your, in your wallet, in your pocket, in your backpack. If it's a piano, you might have to go get a truck to put it, right? So to carry it or keep it. If it's a car, you put it in a garage. Each thing has a place where it goes, right? Okay, the same concepts apply in computer programming, right? So the, the, in computer programming, there's various kinds of things and you can put them in various places. I'm just showing you um, different, giving you a high level understanding of what the themes of a computer program are, okay? So let's create our first computer program. So um, just so you see, file, new, project. Okay. okay. What we're gonna create is called a console app. Okay. Okay. Console app, right? So a console app is something that now call it Alan Zuka tutorial. A console app is different from a regular program. Visual Studio is a regular program, right? You can see it, right? Yeah. See what it does, and an iOS iOS apps, those are also programs. You see it, you touch it. Console apps run in this text. Everything is all text, right? Nothing is, nothing you can touch. Everything is like you type, right? These are the first kinds of programs they made before they started making them look all cool. They made them like this. And this is how, when I went to school, even when I w went to a website, I did it through here, okay? So let's see some examples of console apps. If I type print, hi there. Ooh. Print hi there, right. See that? Yeah. If I, if I type time, right, tells me sort of like CPU time and things like that, right? These are different programs, okay? So let's run this now. We haven't done anything, and I don't want you to look at any of this stuff. I just want you to focus on 
this part. All this stuff is not, whatever we do, none of this stuff is gonna change. The only part that's gonna change is this right here, okay? So let's run it. Everything here doesn't matter, just this part matters, right? So if I run this, what does it say there? Hello world. Hello world, right? Yeah. See that? That's what we just typed there. Okay? Yeah. This looks much nicer than Visual Studio 2012. Yeah, it gets better, right? And, but it all functions the same way, right? So now when you write a program, you just write it out with the command and then it does it, okay? So think of it as you're telling the computer to do something and then the computer does it, right? If I tell you to go wash the dishes, you go, you wash the dishes. Same way I'm telling the computer to say, to write out, write line, hello world. So it's writing out the line, hello world, okay? Okay, so we'll now stop this. Okay. So you'll notice that I put this in quotes. What are quotes for? What happens when you put something in quotes? Shows that someone said it. Someone said it, right? Mm -hmm. You can think of it as that when you put something in quotes, you're not just saying someone says it, you're literally saying what they said, yeah. right? You're, so it's you're being literal, okay? So when you put I when I put it in quotes like this, I'm telling the computer write exactly what I say here. Okay? That's why it's in quotes. Anytime you put something in quotes, it'll be interpreted just how you put it, right? Now, remember when we talked about different types? Remember when we talked about different kinds of things? Yeah. Money, right? Car, sure. chair. Okay. So computers have those concepts too. In a computer's world, again, a computer is all ones and zeros, right? It's all numbers, right? So in a computer's world, there are certain kinds of things that you want to store. Think about what's important to store, right? What are some of the things that you can store? Like think about a calculator. What, what are some of the things that you can store? Numbers. numbers, okay? So one thing you can store is numbers. You can those that's a kind of thing like 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 a wallet has thing. What's another kind of thing? Oh dude, um, it doesn't matter either. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's say dates. Yes. Right? Yeah. When you what happens when you pick up your phone? And oh, you I didn't look know at that account. it's a computer's dealing just thinking your head about what you see in computers. When you look at a computer, what are some of the things that Huh? Weather. weather. So what's weather? But weather, can you break down weather into lower things? Temperature. temperature. And what is temperature? Mm -hmm. No, what's the value used to represent temperature? Number. number. So you're, we already have number, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So what's something else? Even date breaks down to numbers, right? But dates are a specific kind of number, right? in a sp certain way, and date is more than a number. Date has slashes, in it, right? Like if I was gonna represent a date, how would I, what's today's date? Uh, huh? 17th. March 17th, so wh what's the, how do you represent that in numbers? Three. Three. 17. 17. 20. 20, 20, right? So look at that, is that just numbers? Yeah. No. There's also oh, these the slashes, dash, yes, right? Slashes. So it's not just numbers. So you can't just use a number to represent it, right? Okay. So what's something else that you see on your iPhone? What's something else that's stored on your iPhone that you can think of? Apps. Lower, lower. Just data, not, not lower than apps. Letters. Letters, perfect. Letters, right? So letters. Right? So for example, when you use your password, your password is a combination of letters and numbers, right? Letters. Okay? Can you think of anything else? Colors. Colors. Very good example. Very good thing, right? As you can see, this computer is keeping some things blue, some things black, some things green. So it to do that, it has to understand color. Mm -hmm. Right? Anything else? Let's do one more thing, if you can think of one more thing. 
Let's look at numbers. Can, are there different kinds of numbers? From math, are there different kinds of numbers? Okay, some kinds of numbers are? Okay, single digits, double digit. What else? Triple digit. Fractions, which are represented as what? Um, hmm? What did you say? Decimals. decimals. Okay, so decimals, right? So decimals are different from numbers, normal numbers, right? Because once again, decimals aren't just digits, right? How do you represent a decimal? Yes, so 1.5, right? There's rules to decimals, okay? Okay, so we've now listed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different things, right? Okay, so you put letters there, and I'm going to separate letters, and I'm going to put words there as well, okay? Letters is just one letter. Words is a whole thing, right? Okay, so in programming each one of these things in basically every single program every single computer program in the world each one of these things has something to represent them and they have a code name for it this is the concept but depending on the language the code name will be different right just like what's what what is chair in French in French chair um, in French I, I don't know. what word do you know in French Okay, what's chair in, in Spanish? I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do we have a dunce cap somewhere? <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, bonjour. Huh? I know bonjour. What does that mean? Hello. Okay, so when you say in hello in, in French, it's bonjour. Right? What's hello in, in Chinese? That's okay. So, hello. So, it's the same word, same concept, two different languages. In fact, we've used three languages, right? In English, it's what? Uh, hello. Okay. In Ch Chinese, it's what? And in, in French, it's what? Bonjour. Bonjour. Okay. So the same things, please stop doing that because you just saw that it just makes it. The same thing applies with programming languages, right? So the concept of a word in one computer language may be different than another computer language. Okay. That's how languages differ. So the language that we're working on today is called C sharp, after the musical note, okay? So how is a number represented in, in, um, in C sharp? The number is represented by the word INT, okay? INT stands for integer. You know what an integer is uh, from math? I forgot. It's a real number, yeah. right? One, two, three, four, five, six, like that, right? Positive and negative. Uh, positive and negative. Positive and negative real numbers are I and T, okay? A date is represented by a word that is date time. Now, because you guys speak multiple languages, this is going to be way easier than Spanish because all you have to do is not like Spanish where it changes right you yeah. conjugate words it's all weird in this one you just have to memorize INT it's never gonna be anything else it doesn't change it in any way okay um, a letter is represented by that's one letter okay so one character is represented by the word C H A R it stands for car okay a word is represented by the word string, okay, right? It's only represented by the word string. It's kind of like, uh, you can think of it as like a nickname because if you think about what a word is, it's a, a string of letters. You get it? So string. Color we're not going to worry about right now, but it's normally represented by color, right? Decimal is represented by decimal or double or float. What does float stand for? Float stands for floating point. Okay. 
okay but you can just use decimal okay right so how do we store these values let's say I wanted to put the number five somewhere right to put the number five somewhere I would say int where do we want to put it give a name to where we want to put it what? well you put your you put your your dollar in your wallet right yeah so imagine if you gave your wallet a nickname what do you want to call your wallet uh I don't know. Logan. Logan. Azuka, what do you want to call your wallet? Hmm? Wallady. Hmm? Wallady. Wallady? Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I said, so you both have wallets. If I said, put $5 in Wallady, what would you do? I'd put it in his wallet. You put it in his wallet? Yeah. Okay. If I say, put $5 in Logan, where would you put it? Mom. Okay. If I said, take one dollar out of Logan and put it in Wallaby. what would you do? Take a dollar of mine and put it in this. Okay, so what you've done is you've given a nickname to uniquely identify your wallet, right? Because there's wallets all over the world, right? But as long as you and I know that your wallet is called Wallaby and his wallet is called, I mean, your wallet is called Logan and his wallet is called Wallaby, we can communicate that way. The same thing happens here. Give a nickname to this integer, this number we're gonna use. Give it a nickname so that we know, so that we we, we can talk uh, about it when we need it. Right? Uh, I don't know, Profes professional. Hmm? Professional. And what do we wanna store in it? Numbers. Yeah, What? give me a number to store in it. Nine. Nine, okay? So what we've said here is we've put nine into professional okay the same way i put five dollars into wallaby you've put nine into professional this is the way you say you say int which is where saying what it is right so up here i could do something like this wallet logan equals five dollars right right and I could also say wallet um, wallet equals ten dollars right and let's say I wanted to say I want to take a dollar from wallet and put in your wallet I could say um, wallet minus one right yeah right yeah you following along what's going on yeah I'm getting it. you have your wallet your wallet is Logan his wallet is Wallaby and if I do Wallaby minus one that takes one dollar out of his wallet yeah. right so I could say um, dollar D just to call it anything right or let's call it payment right yeah. is equal to wallaby minus one right yeah. okay actually no let's do is equal to one so I'm taking one dollar the payment is one dollar okay. okay so now I'm gonna do wallaby is equal to wallaby minus one minus dot payments oh i get it yeah right i'm removing payment from wallet right so i'm taking a dollar from him what's payment one one dollar one dollar right and i'm removing it from from hi, from his right and then the next thing i could do would how do i add it to yours well uh, we would have to put wallet Wallet professional okay. or wallet Logan I mean. wallet, wallet Logan Logan equals or um wallet Logan plus one yeah so or we could just say Logan right because oh Logan yeah. is it right Logan is equal to what oh plus one dollar yeah Logan 
plus not what what's one dollar payment right oh yeah payment. see that you found along what's happening here yeah so just think about it in the real world what's going on take something from him give it to you in a computer world every single thing in the real world we can say we again going back to that concept of context in the real world i can i, I can say take give him a dollar take a dollar from him give it to him right i'm saying a dollar right in the computer world i can't say a dollar i have to give that thing a name too so that's what's going on here a dollar here is equal to one you have to define everything for the computer because the computer is dumb computers doesn't understand all these things right so even <coughs> the gaps you have to specify okay so let's look at some of the things that we can do with this right now. So we've looked at professional. So you now understand the concept of this, right? This is the place you're trying to store it. This is the nickname you're giving it. And this is the value that you're putting in that thing. Okay? Very simple. Okay? You guys have done algebra before, right? Yeah. Right? You remember x equals 5? Mm -hmm. right or a how they do it y equals y equals y equals mx plus b that's, that's what that's intercept form exactly and how do you plot this chart what do you have to do to keep plotting this chart let's say b is three how do you keep plotting this chart well, you put, well we don't we need to know what x is MX is to plot the chart. Hmm? You, need to know what MX you need to know well you're gonna get values for X, right? Yeah. You need to right? Know you know the slope, let's just say the slope is two. Right? So, yeah. So if each each X I put in gives me a different Y. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. So you understand the concept of variables. X is a variable, right? X changes. Every time X changes, Y changes. Everything else stays the same. Okay? So this is a variable. Professional is a variable. Okay? This could also be X. You can call it whatever you want. Right? In computer, I mean in, in math, you guys are always using X and Y and all these things, confusing the heck out of you, right? But here you can call it whatever you want. Like how old are you? 15. Okay, so what can I call this? If I was representing your age, what, what might you want to call this? Okay, okay let's, say, let's create a new variable that's going to re represent your age. What's the first thing I'm going to type? Uh, we'll say age and then equals birthday. Okay, but what's, let's type it out. What would I type? What do you mean? I, I'm trying to represent your, your, your age. Yeah. Okay, so let's type out something to represent your age. Okay, age 15. Age. How do you store something in age? Um, would it be equal, equal, and then the... No, I just, we just literally showed it to you. Again, let's go back here. To store something in it, you say equals. Okay? Mm -hmm. And before you decide what you're going to store in it, you have to decide what it is... Before, you have to decide what you're trying to store. We're going to store a number. What's the, what's the code name for number? Int. Int. Okay. Where do we want to store it? What do you want to call it? Um, we want to call it birthday. Birthday. Remember, it's just your age we're storing. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. So birthday. Okay. Then what's the next thing I want to type? I want to store Equal. something in it. Equals. Equals. Fif Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, let's do Azuka's, Azuka's age. 13. Okay, so what do we, what are we going to put? Alex. Oh, um, yeah. int. Okay, why are we using int here? Um, because it's a number and we have to store it. Okay, so we, just like you store a car in a garage, right? Int is the thing we're going to use to store it. Okay, what do you want to call it? Is it his? Either of you can answer. It's his birthday. 
What do you want to call this this int? What nickname do you want to give to this number? What number? Okay, why don't you go since you've been following along? Uh, you mean 13? Yeah. What do you want to give? What code name, alias, do you want to give to this to 13? June What's that red line? Fifth. That just means because it's not. It's telling me that I haven't finished doing what I'm supposed oh. to do, right? Okay, then what do we do? How do we store something in it? Equals. Equals. Thirteen. Mm, Thirteen. Right. Right. You see. And you're done, right? So now we can go here, and we want to print out what we just did. So. If we wanted to print out, um, this is professional, sorry. That's what you called it, right? Yeah. If we wanted to print out nine, what could we put here to print out nine? Um, I don't know. Wait. Wait. Just I think. It's okay to it's okay to make mistakes. You don't have to be perfect. To print out nine. Oh, will we put print? Or you did it before earlier, right? Yeah, just go ahead. In this program right now, this prints things out, right? And we have to put something inside of here. We have to put something inside of these parentheses right here. What should we put in there? Nine, right? Nine, okay. So we can put nine there, right? And if we ran this, is it going to print nine? Yeah. Okay, let's run it and see. Right? Printed nine, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what's a nickname in this program? What's a nickname for nine? Just come up with one. No. What is in this program? Read the program and tell me what a nickname. Oh. Professional. So, can we put professional in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So if I run this, what'll happen? Wait. Don't we have to put nine in? Or will nine just show up? Yeah, because professional oh, is nine. nine. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. You've created a nickname for nine. Yeah. So you don't have to keep putting nine everywhere. You can just put professional. Oh, okay. okay? So if I run this... Wait, but then what's the point of the nicknames? The point of the nickname is that... I'll show you, okay? So... I'm going to write professional twice here, right? Yeah. So i got one professional, i got another professional here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, between these professionals, I'm going to change professional to 10. Okay. So, what's this program going to print out now? 10. What's it going to print out here? 10. Since it's changing everything, right? No, it's not. Oh. So Over that's here, gonna print out nine. it's going to print out 9. Because it's 9 here. Then you change it to 10. Oh. Then it's going to print out 10. Programs always start at the top and go all the way to the bottom. Yeah. So everything before here, everything everything before this point hasn't happened yet. Well, that's another key concept to get. It's going to go with this one. So let's let's put a block, a dot here. This is called debugging. I'll show you how a program works slowly. So I'm going to start it. Okay. See that yellow thing? Here's the console. See this yellow thing? Yeah. So anytime you put a dot here, it stops your program so you can see it line by line. So the program is now stopped. Nothing is showing here. Then I'm going to go to the next line. See? Skipped all these because I have the two forward slashes. This means skip, ignore it. Right, so it's just for you to write little notes to yourself oh, yeah, like yeah. we're doing, right? It just ignores it. So the first line that comes here is professional. So right now, what does it say professional is? None. No? What does it show in this little thing here? What do you mean int professional equals none? Here, yeah, let me just mouse over it. Look at that thing there. Oh, oh, oh. So it's just like a Professional, cube. and what's the number next? Zero. Here? Zero right now, see? Because this hasn't executed yet. We're at it, but it hasn't executed yet. So now let's go next. Now let's go over professional. What does it show now? Nine. Nine. See, now professional is nine. Birthday is zero. Uh, June 5th is zero, zero, right? See, everything is zero. 
right? Everything is all nine here, right? Yeah. See that? So now we go here and here. Now look at birthday. 15. Now 15, June 15, 13. 13. See, those are the those are the places that stored, right? And I open up something called a watch, so you can see very clearly, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So here you go. So you see, this is everything. This is all the things. See, let's look at it. What do you see there? What does it say? Type. Type. What does that say there? String. What? Oh, all right there. Int. 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 That's the type that it is. The value. This is what is stored inside of it. 9, 15, 13. The name. This is what we called it. Professional birthday June 5th or <laughs> typo, right? You yeah. see? This is what everything you're writing there, at the end of the day, all it's doing is storing it somewhere. And it's showing you how it stored it. Right? You get what I'm saying? Okay. So now we were remember what we said? We print it out. So let's look. Watch over here. You gotta look closely. Right? See? Was it print there? No. So I just passed print and then printed nine. Notice it hasn't done any of this stuff. You see, I want you to get the concept that it starts up there, goes down. Okay? Now we're going to change professional to 10. Still 9. See that? It's in red. Yeah. Professional has now changed to 10. Right? Now when we print it out, what's it going to print out? 10. 10. See? So it first prints 9, then it prints 10. Okay? So you were right in the sense that once you change it, it changes everywhere, but it changes for everything after the fact, right? Everything before has already happened. It's like time, right? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what's happening here. So this is time to a programming language. One, two, three, like how we experience every second. This is like every second to a computer, right? Starts here. This is the future for it. This is the past for it. Okay? And where you are, the yellow line, that's the present. Okay? All right. So that's variables. And that's a big part of what we're doing. We've shown a bunch of different concepts. We've shown comments. To do a comment, you just put two forward slashes. Mm -hmm. Then it ignores it completely. Yeah. I know about I know about comments. All right. Then we showed a couple of variables. We showed int. Okay? Yeah. Right? And then we printed out int. Okay? So now let's try another variable. So if I want to store a letter, we have our index up here. I want to store a letter. How would I store it? What's the first thing I'm going to write? Um, would we still, would we wouldn't put int there anymore, no, right? right? Since that's okay. only it's for a different numbers. thing. Right? Yeah. You wouldn't you wouldn't store in your wallet a piano, right? Yeah. Okay, it's the same thing. Char. Thank you. All right. Somebody's getting it. Okay. You put char, okay? The C H is actually pronounced as, as car. K. Car. car. Okay. All right. And then what what's the next thing we have to do? Um uh we have to put some letters. We have to remember everything. Remember we want to identify everything, right? Oh, we have to come up with a nickname? A nickname for it. So what are we going to call this car? Uh, I don't know. Uh, phone. Phone. Okay. Equals. Now, for cars, for numbers, we just, for numbers, for int, you can only put a number in there. If I put an A here, oh. it'll explode. You see that red line? Yeah. Right? Can't have that there. Okay, can't have quotes there, right? Can't have double quotes there, I should say. You can have single quotes, but I'll explain to you why later. Okay, you can't have double quotes there, okay? What does double quotes indicate? What does it say there? Represents text as a sequence of UTF-16 code units. See? So, and you see what it's calling it? String. String. See that? And it's saying it cannot 
convert from a string to an int because you've put in you, you you're, you're saying you want to store an int but you're putting in something that's not an int okay you're saying you want to store a dollar but you're driving up your car right <laughs> you're saying put the wallet down so i can drive my car into this wallet is that going to work no no so this is not going to work either right a string is far bigger than an int right so let's go back to nine there so for a char car in order to store it you use single quotes And then inside of those single quotes, you can put any one thing, right? Mm -hmm. This is a this is a car. This is a car. This is a car. Even this space here is a car, right? This is a car. Any single character, any single character. You know what a character is? Yeah. Right. Any single character, as in a letter, more than a letter, a number, a symbol, any one thing, is a car. Okay. Okay, for to computers, right? So in here, what could I put in here? H. H, exactly, right? Okay, or I can put big H. Believe it or not, in computers, big H is different from little H. Why do you think it is? I don't know. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. How would the computer know to, if I do this, H, how does the computer know to put little H? And if I do this, H, how does the computer know to put a big H? Because it says the right thing. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm, how does it know to represent it? I don't know. If you're, you're saying there's no difference between a big H and a little H, right? Yeah. But the computer is making a difference between them. So how is the, com remember, everything a computer does it's is... Little is literal. Everything is all numbers behind the scenes. So what do you think a computer is doing when you put a big H versus a little H? Um, well, let's take it a, let's go take a step backwards. Let's say you were going to create a code, right? Give me a pen or pencil. I got a pen right here. Let's say I told you write a code for me of all the letters in the alphabet so that you and I have a secret language right so that no one will know what we're saying what could you do so I've got all my letters mm -hmm. A B C D E F G H I J like that right mm -hmm. so let's start with just this what could I do to turn this into a code so that it's hidden and people don't don't know what I'm doing. Um, you could oh you could make it uppercase. No, making it uppercase would people would still be able to read it, right? Yeah. I want to send you a secret message. Okay, I could use symbols to represent everything, right? Yeah. I could draw an apple for A. Right. I could draw a B for B. I could draw maybe a cake for C, right? Then if I went apple, apple, cake. If I sent that to you. I know that, man. You'd know that, How? Would, what would you translate that to? Two A's and a C. So you take, you go A, A, C. Yeah. Okay? A computer can't do that. But what a computer can do is give each letter a number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I sent you one, one, three, like that. That means A, A, C. A, A, C. Okay. Using this formula, Using this approach, the strategy, is it possible for me to represent both little h and big h? Uh, no. Yes. Well, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart because eight means both. Could no, because I would make big h eleven. Oh, 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 oh. Right, right. Big a 
12. Mm -hmm. So if I sent you 11, 8, 1, 12, what would that translate to? A big H. Big H. Um, little H. Little H. A. A. Big A. Big A. Okay? You understand? That's what's happening with the computer. Big H is a different number yeah, than, than little H. H. That's how it can make the difference between the two. You understand? Yeah. Okay? So, now we've got car. Are you following along? You're about to die? No. Are you bored to death? No. <laughs> okay. Trust me, this is going to seep in and soak in. And the next time we talk about this, all this is going to be, this is a foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. So, we've talked about big H, right? Now, what's another kind of thing we can store? We store car. What's another kind of thing we can store? Uh, we can Let's say I want to store your name. What am I going to use? Well, can you store? I don't know. Sorry. Um, string. String. Look at you. Look at you. Huh? Mm -hmm. If I want to store your name, I'm using a string. So how am I going to write it out? What's the first thing I'm going to write? String. String. What, what, what am I telling the computer when I do that? That you want to write my name. That I want to store a string. Right? Yes. Right. And then what's the next thing I'm going to do? Um, you know, uh, write uh, like the nickname. The nickname, exactly. You're getting it. What do you want to call this string? Uh, book. It's your name. Give it a meaningful thing. <laughs> name. Okay, you want to use book? That's I just fine. been coming okay. up with the words. Okay, so let's use book. That's fine. And in book, you're going to store what? Your name, right? Yeah. So what's your name? Alex. Your full name? Uh, okay, Chuku. No, I mean Alexander. Alexander. Right? And last name? Momeka. Momeka. Okay. Now, of course, this is giving squigglies. Why? Because what is the rule about strings? Strings are literal. That's the trick. Strings are literal. So what's the rule about strings? Well, I mean, what does, what does literal have to do with my name? To tell the computer that you're that it's exactly your name. Oh, that does it need quotations? It really? needs quotes, right? So just like you would do in a book or in words, I'm quoting it. Alex Momeka, mm -hmm. okay? So now, how do we print it out over here? What can we put to print out your name? Book. Book. You got this, bro. You got this. So let's now run through this. Do you want to debug it or do you want to just run through? You already well, know what it's going to be, yeah. right? So. Oops, sorry. You see the results? Yeah. Alex Momeka, 10. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, we got this down. And then the last one is decimals. We're not going to worry about that right now. It's decimals you don't even really need, okay, until later on when we get more advanced, okay? Like decimals you need for money, basically. That's really the key thing about this, or measurements of some kind, right? All right. So let's now go here, and let's do a little bit of arithmetic, okay? So I want to add birthday to professional okay and i want to store it somewhere okay let's go well, remember you're adding birthday to professional it's two integers so what's it going to be stored in uh um it would and and okay and and okay so what do you want to call this int um Pen. Pen. And then what are we storing in this thing? Uh, you said it was um, my professional. Uh, you said it was number and. No, no we're storing word. a professional and plus birthday. Yeah. So what's the next thing we're going to write? Um, Professional. 
nothing changes look at all the other samples we're gonna how do we tell the computer that we're storing something in pen equal equal right now we can say what we want to store and what we want to store is um my birthday so so birthday yeah right and how do you do plus sign in computers a uh, plus sign plus sign and then um uh, number was it? What was the other We're one? trying to store it professional. Professional. We're trying to add two together. So what are we gonna put in here? Next. Professional. Professional. Okay. And how do we print it out? Uh, we have don't we have to use console dot right line? Okay. So we're gonna use console dot right line. And what are we gonna put in there? Wait, we don't have to put quotations around this. No, because it's numbers. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not string, right? So, what do we put in there? Um, we put our uh, birthday, uh, birthday plus professional. Yeah, but do we have a nickname for that? I thought those were the nicknames. Do we have a nickname for the sum of birthday and professional? Oh, oh, oh. Um, pen. Pen. You can put birthday plus professional, but you know, yeah. <laughs> the whole point of the nicknames is so you don't have to type out. Think of it as for laziness. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Just type out pen. Right. Okay. So if I run this, you should be able to tell me what what is gonna print out. Yeah. So tell me what's gonna print out. So it's gonna print out um my it's gonna print out my birthday. Give me the actual thing, literally. Oh, what's gonna fifteen. Fifteen on one and, line. And nine. 15 and 9. Are you sure? Look at the whole program. Professional birthday. Look at the console.write lines. That's the important part. You got 15, but what's the next thing that prints out after 15? Mm. This pr Read it like a program. What's the next line after this? The the exact next one? Yeah. Oh, 10. Oh, or would it be 9 since 9 is first? So, what does this line print out? 10. Right? Because it's 10 right on. What does this line print out? Console the right line book. Oh. Um, uh, my name. Exactly. And then what's the next thing that prints out? Um, 9. Professional. professional. What is professional? Professionals number nine. nine. What's the next thing that happens after? Oh, ten. Then what's the thing so What's that going to pretend? Ten. So how many? So what gets printed out? Ten. The whole program. What's oh, the whole program? Okay, so out? it's first. It's first. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Um. Then it's uh, book. Um. Is my name. You can read it. Okay. Your name. And then uh, um. And then ten. Ten. Okay. So fifteen. What's your what's gonna print out there exactly? Alex Momeka. Alexander Momeka. Alexander Momeka and then ten. Ten. Right. So always read the program top to bottom. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's run to see if you're right. You're wrong. Why are you wrong? I'm, I'm not sure. Why does it say twenty four? Okay. Because what is pen? Pen is my pen is my birthday and my and the number. Oh, fifteen plus. Ah, <laughs> what's pen? Fifteen plus nine. Fifteen plus nine, which is what? Twenty. Twenty-four. You see? Always go through the program, right? That's the that's the what you should be getting out of it. You go through the program. The program tells you what it's gonna what it's gonna do. You get what I'm saying? Like. What you're gonna do as you keep on working on this is you're gonna learn how to read. It'll be like learning Spanish. It's a little bit difficult for you now because it's like all kinds of rules, but it's like learning a really easy language, right? A really easy human language, right? Because there's no conjugating, there's no, <laughs> there's no slang. Yeah, it's, it's like Chinese. It's like, Chi well, I'm sure I, it may, they say. So that's basically it, okay. So that's it for today. Um, just getting you acclimated to it, right? Mm -hmm. So once again, there are 
several kinds of things, right? Numbers, dates, letters, words, colors, decimals, right? Each thing in this language has a nickname for it, right? Has a name for it, right? It could be different in other languages. But for C sharp, which is the language we're working on, number is represented as what? Um, int. Int. Dates are represented as what? Date time. Date time. Letters are represented as what? Car. Words are represented as what? String. And decimals are represented as what? Decimal, double, or float. Or float, right? And the way you use them is that you always put in the type, right? Yeah. Then the name equals equals is the same as saying, you know, like put it in here. Yeah. Right? So store the value, store the value in this in, in store the value in this type and give it this name. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So back up here, put five dollars in the wallet called Logan. Logan. Okay. Put nine in the int called professional. professional. Right? It's kind of weird and backwards, but you get you get yeah. what's going on, right? You're putting this in this, right? Yeah. Right? In in the thing, in in the thing called the, that's called this, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay? All right, good job. So I'm um, um you wanna so just tell your mom, go and explain to your mom what you learned, and try to break it down to her. The fastest way to learn is by teaching others. Okay. okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to go and explain to her how it works and what's different about this and a normal language like like Spanish. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks.